if they're working with people in gangs, uh, you know, gang behavior is, you know, it is it's something that might function when you're 14 to give you protection in a dangerous neighborhood and might get you a little cash selling drugs on the side, but it really isn't a life plan. That one always ends up in prison or dead or worse. And, uh, you know, the trouble is, is if you have short movies in your head, you have short plans. But if you don't think you're gonna have a long life that can lead to success, I grew up in neighborhoods filled with gangs and, uh, you know, uh, they, they went by ethnic origin in the city that I grew up in, you know, and there were Chinese gangs and, you know, and, uh, you know, there were different, the Chinese gangs fought with the Vietnamese who fought with these people who fought with the Italians and, you know, it was over territory and drugs and fireworks and all of this stuff. But, you know, it, it, when you looked at it, they, you know, in the end, they all were ending up in prison. They all got hurt. They all got something bad was constantly happening to them or their families. And, you know, if you look in your future and you want to have a family and you want to have love and you want to have good income, you have to find a smarter way to do things. Loads of people have gotten out of the gang life and become successful. It's far from impossible and we need to build models of what they did in their mind to change it and it'll all come down to making a better movie and making a decision and people go you know i can't quit the gang because they'll kill me and i go well then maybe you need to move move somewhere else where that nobody knows you uh sometimes starting over has to have a big step in the beginning of the plan but you know uh, first they have to have in their mind something which is beliefs that believe that this life is not as it's see if that's the best life they can imagine that's the one they'll live in because you know it's familiar they grew up in it you know the toughest guy in the street you know got all the got all the respect but he doesn't get as much respect as warren buffett does and uh, <laughs> uh to me you know uh what most people do warren buffett once said and this is a quote right out of my book warren buffett said when most people play the stock market, they, they, they look at all the data to convince themselves they're right about doing something, which is why they don't make money. They don't look at the data and draw a conclusion from it based on the data. And if you look at all the people in the United States, instead of just your neighborhood, the people who are doing really well aren't gang members. And, uh, you know, this is what people have to do they have to look at, you know, in this country, there, there are 350 million, there's over 60 million in England. Which ones are really doing well? Well, it's not just because they grew up upper class and white. By the way, most of my really screwed up clients are second generation wealthy white people. And a lot of them, you know, are, are on a downward spiral into nothing. So having advantages in the beginning can be helpful, but it isn't necessarily. I started with less than nothing and I'm doing really well. And I decided when I was really young that that wasn't the life I wanted to lead. I didn't want to be a gang member. Uh, I knew plenty of them, but I focused on a longer range plan. I figured the people who went to college did better, so I went to college. Uh, and, you know, I didn't go to, I thought maybe I'd become a college professor. And as it turns out, when I found out how much money they made, I knew they weren't the successful people I thought they were. Uh, they didn't make the kind of money that I was planning to make, so I had to create something of my own. Uh, people come to the United States to escape gangs, open a dry cleaner or a restaurant, and uh, build a successful life. Uh, there are loads of millionaires that came here to this country and to England with nothing. And uh, if you're already here and you have nothing, then it seems like you're halfway there. And if you get that in your mind, you can make a bigger, better, brighter plan.